high-speed internet, supersonic jets, instant coffee, instant noodles. Would you believe our world is slowing down? They say time flies when you're having fun, but over the past 100 years, including the 20s, the 60s, and the 80s, our days have actually gotten longer. Before you say, you're telling me, let's just clarify, the average length of a day has only increased by 1.7 milliseconds. But what if you could get more out of your day? What if a great night never had to end? What if one day lasted an entire year? And in that time, you could walk around the whole Earth? This is what if. And here's what would happen if the Earth were to suddenly stop spinning. The Earth rotates at an average speed of 1,000 miles per hour, giving us night and day while harnessing wind, tides, and temperature. So what would happen if these revolutions that are so vital to our existence were to suddenly stop? Imagine owning the fastest, sexiest sports car in the world. Pretty nice, huh? The open road calls. There's no traffic in sight and no highway patrol officers either. So you decide to test its top speed, driving at 1,000 miles per hour. Out of nowhere, an obstacle. You hit the brakes, your car stops suddenly, but you don't. That's what would happen at the moment the Earth stops spinning. Everything that isn't safely secure or tied down will be suddenly sent flying eastward at 1,000 miles per hour. Humans, cars, even pigs. The fastest wind ever recorded was 253 miles per hour. In this scenario, we're talking about winds four times as strong, feeling similar to an atomic blast. In less than a minute, towering tsunamis would sweep more than 17 miles inland. All the water from the world's oceans would surge towards the poles. Since the globe bulges at the equator, the North and South Pole are closer to the center of the Earth, and therefore have a stronger gravitational pull. The seven seas would turn into two, forming one mega-ocean in the North and another in the South. Canada, most of Europe and Russia would be completely submerged. Boston, Chicago and Seattle would also be underwater, along with parts of Argentina, Chile and New Zealand. The oceanic displacement would form a massive supercontinent along the equator, wrapping around the entire Earth. While this might make it easier for any surviving humans to work together, there'd be little anyone could do to improve their lot. Resources would be scarce, the world would experience wide-scale drought, and most species would be endangered, if not already extinct. Agriculture would be nearly impossible to maintain, since a full day would now last an entire year. In other words, you'd see the sun for six straight months, and spend the other half of the year in darkness. This would also inhibit the natural transition between seasons. The final fatal consequence would be the loss of our magnetic field. Aside from giving us a sense of direction, Earth's magnetic field ensures our survival by deflecting solar wind, which would otherwise rip through our ozone layer and blast us with harmful radiation. Deadly cosmic rays would effectively kill all living things on the planet, and over time, the world as we know it would turn into Mars as we know it. Wait a minute, aren't we trying to travel to Mars? And possibly live on it? Are Mars and Earth just going to switch places? Is this what it means to come full circle? Even if we don't come to a screeching stop, the world will one day stop spinning. In about 18.5 billion years. So for now, enjoy the time you have, seize the day, and make every night great.